I have a taxi story, by the way, when we have a moment to do Ooh. Oh. Should we get the Harry Chapin music started? The no, show or an actual taxi story? As I was leaving here uh, last week on my way home. What happened? Did you get in a car accident? Well, some oh. kind of like an accident. I wouldn't say yes. We're driving, and uh, I was talking to him and annoying him as to which way I want him to go, and we were headed toward the horses oh. on Central Park South, and we did hear a loud thud, and I heard the cabby go, ah! And uh, I saw a homeless guy fly over the hood of the cab and smash against the windshield. He had hit a homeless man. Get out of here! He hit, he hit a bum on a bike. <laughs> he hit a bum on a bike. And the guy looked like Grady from uh, Sanford and Son, which is how I knew he was homeless. <laughs> it was really disturbing because it happened so fast. I heard like, I, ah! And then you see the guy thud, bounce off the window. And I'm like, he just killed a guy. <laughs> you you saw him bounce off the window. <laughs> he bounced off the window, dude. He hit the, he, <laughs> he thudded off the uh, 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 the hood, the window, and then hit the ground. And uh, he just laid there. I'm like, this guy's dead. And five seconds later, he pops up, and a cop pulls up, uh, who had been right by uh, Columbus uh, Circle. And the homeless guy's like, I'm all right, I'm all right. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, another commercial? Uh, what is that? I don't know. You, you okay, sir? <laughs> sir? <laughs> that, that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was uh, he was okay, and and the and the amazing thing was, this, the the cabbie was such scum because the guy, it was the homeless guy's fault. He came right out in the green and yeah. got hit. But when the cops like, uh, you want to do anything? And the homeless guy's like, no, I'm all right. And his bike had a huge dent in the wheel. So he had to, <laughs> it was like a crescent moon, his bike wheel. So then he rode off on it? No, he pushed oh. it. He was pushing. It was like, flung, flung, flung. The, the wheel couldn't turn. <laughs> but the, he's going, he, the homeless guy goes to the cabbie. He goes, uh, you want to give me $20? And the cabbie should have thrown him 20 bucks. Uh, and the cabbie's like, uh, no, no, I don't. So the homeless guy's like, all right. Like, he just didn't know how to drive a hard bargain. He was like, all right. And he just walked away with his broken bike. But Could the, it have been like a whoa, scam whoa, whoa. he does? No, because what, the what bike the, was dented. He really hit by the, the cabbie car. wouldn't give him $20? No, and, and all the... He's all the, insane. The homeless guy could have said, you know what? Uh, the light was green for me. Absolutely. And immediately he could have gone to the hospital. And the cabbie's insurance, when you hit a person, your insurance goes up more than 20 a year. Yeah, I would think. And that dummy yeah. didn't give him any money. And he said what the homeless guy did is as the car was about to hit him, he said the homeless guy looked, and this is the genius move. He took his legs, and he raised his legs real quick, and so the bike is what got hit by the car. Oh, The fender yeah. didn't hit his, his, his shin or his leg. Oh, smart. Thought, what a great move by a guy <laughs> who doesn't understand that you shouldn't go to the bathroom in your pants. <laughs> like that, that man doesn't understand that, that, that inside is better than outside, and yet he knew the physics of lifting his legs <laughs> just in time. In a crisis, so yeah, that was... That is really, amazing. You must have you must have uh, felt like they were filming a movie or something. He was okay. As you're watching this, like this has to be a yeah, movie. Yeah. They, God, yeah. wow! That d does it does it look like it does in the movies? It's, is it cool? Does it come out of nowhere and just like so fast surprise you? It's so fast because the cabbie's reaction. I heard the, and he was veering towards the horses. I'm like, oh my guys, gonna hit a horse. <laughs> and then when I heard that, like ah, and, and the thud, and you just see a man bouncing off the windshield. Like wow, that's cool. We were moving too, man. We were doing twenty twenty. Did he break the windshield? No, he did not break the windshield. It was that was more. I guess the impact is mostly on the hood. It's probably all the padding of all the coats the homeless guys yeah, wear. Yeah, true, true. That'll save him. It's like hitting a big cotton ball. <laughs> A dirty cotton a ball, big, a filthy, a, a smelly <laughs> cotton ball. One that's used to to like clean your shoes. Oh, by the way, I was in a hotel. Yeah. And I had suede shoes, and they do this thing Ooh. where they'll brush up your shoes for you at night. Yeah. So I'm like, with my girlfriend, we're gonna go see her family, and I'm like, all right, let's do it. And, and they shined my suede shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. They're foreign. Aren't they ruined? They're horrible. She said they look like a homeless guy's shoes <laughs> that like have been polished up. <laughs> they are they terrible. ruined them. They ruined my shoes. They bought me new ones. Why would you polish? I don't know. My my ninety dollar rock ports. Because I have bad feet. <laughs> my feet. It's hard for me to walk. I have fat feet. Oh, that's funny. I need wide. Tragic. Yeah, my eight and a half wides. Uh Tim, what's up? Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Um, I was. Uh, I live in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. I'm making a right off of a side street onto a main road. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, that's why they tell you to ride your bike with traffic. Oh, well, yeah, with traffic. You're right. So, yeah, I'm looking out my driver's side window. I make the right-hand turn. 
this guy comes off like the curb, kind of like in the air. I had a little shiv. I took him out. I took him out at his bike. He went flying over, like, into the other lane. As I swerved to miss him, I hit his wife. <laughs> wow. Did you kill her or is she all right? It was, so, uh, no, no, I didn't kill anyone, but he was all bloody and drunk. They had, uh, they had two bottles of Budweiser on him. And uh, in the police report, it said two bottles of Budweiser were found at the scene. They were uh. frothy and fresh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty wild. Wow. Uh, all right, thank you, well, sir. good for you. Hey, we... phone calls, no, no, you don't. Oh, Kathy, no. Virginia, what's up? Happy phone call Thursday. No. no. Let's see. No, I just wanted to call and tell Jimmy that I, I listen every morning. I didn't realize how much I miss him. When he's gone, it's terrible. I really like him. Oh, thank you, well, Kathy. Thanks. I like you. Well, he's back. I'm so. glad you're back. I missed you. Thank you. All right, Kathy, thank you. Thanks. We got lots Bye. of uh, good things to talk about today on the show. We got a, uh, a missing girl that led a secret life as an internet porn star. Yes, we were looking at some of her uh, pictures. We were perusing oh, no. some of her pictures uh, yeah, how online. Does, how tub does girl? this... Huh? Is it Tub Girl? Tub Girl. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> a naughty one. <laughs> how does this story go? Uh, girl is missing. I'm college student. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. A missing uh, Kansas college student believed to be the victim of foul play apparently led a double life as an internet porn star by the name of Zoe Zane. Nude photos of 18-year-old Emily Sanders appeared on a Zoe Zane website before she vanished, and investigators are looking into whether her modeling had anything to do with her disappearance last Friday. I would say yes. Yeah, I think that would be an absolute yes, right? Yeah. She enjoyed it. She's a young teenage girl. She wanted to be in the movies and enjoyed movies. She needed the extra money. Nikki Watson, a close friend of Sanders at... Uh, Blah, blah, college. Uh, nobody in El Dorado knew besides her close friends. Sanders' brother, Jacob, confirmed that the nude woman picture on the website is his sister. Oof. Uh, Sanders was last seen leaving The a brother had to identify yeah, the nude pictures. Photos by a mole on the thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Xander was last seen uh, leaving a bar in El Dorado about 30 miles from Wichita, Wichita, Wichita with a man identified as uh, Israel Morales, uh, 24. Sander and Morales had met that night at the bar, according to Watson. Oh, boy. After Morales did not show up Saturday at his job at an Italian restaurant, his employer went to the motel room where he was staying. His motel room was found to appear in great disarray. Great disarray. Great disarray. And a large quantity of blood was found in the room. What the F did this guy do? A large quantity of blood. That's not good. No. Bed clothing was it's found. Not like, ooh, I was shaving. Or, ooh, I was shaving and five gallons of blood ended up on the floor. Yeah. I probably raped her and killed her in a panic or drug and then, mm. and then just beat it out of town. Well, yeah. and, well, and then it says uh, bed clothing was found to be missing. So now he's like, has to like kind of. Pile up the bloody sheets and blankets. Get rid of oh. that evidence. But leave the rest of it. He must have, like, he must have tried. Like, all right, maybe I could clean this motel room up and no one's going to notice. And then halfway through, went, oh, my God. All right, let me just get oh, rid my, of the body. Let me, I got to get the F out of here. Just the body and I'll leave the blood. Santa recently signed a contract for, for the pornographic work on the website and told her parents about it on Thanksgiving, Watson said. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, her boyfriend. I'm a porn star. Her boyfriend broke up with her because he did not approve. Of course not. So... Mm. There you go. She was uh, living a double life. Wow. Was she having sex in the porn stuff, or was it solo stuff? Do we know? I think it was pretty much... Uh, All I saw was solo pictures. Like webcam stuff, right? Oh, that's pretty hot. Boy, no, like, like hot pictures. Really? And he didn't like that? No, I guess not. I guess he was just banging guys. That would probably disturb me. But. That's all we saw, though. Who knows what she was doing? If she went to the bar and just picked some guy up and goes to a hotel room, maybe she was hooking or something. Ooh. I'm just speculating. Wow. Yes. That's hot. Maybe that was going on. But then again, mm. why the blood? I mean, who knows? Maybe the guy was a crazy uh, person. He might yeah. be a crazy person. Guy was probably uh, one of those nuts. Uh, let's uh, say hi to Eric in Jersey. Eric? Good morning, boys. Good hi. morning, Jimmy. Hi, Eric. Um, okay, so I was driving my car. I got my car fixed. So I was driving home. And uh, I'm going, this kid, like, comes down in front of me, like, an eight-year-old kid on his bike. I slam on my brakes, and I just, like, nudge him, but it was enough to knock him off his bike. So I'm shaking, I'm freaking out. The mother comes running up to my window, and she's like, she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, is he okay? She's like, ah, I tell him not to ride in the street all the time. Don't worry about him. And I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> so let me go. It's great. Oh, so there you go. You got out of that one, huh? Yeah, I, I thought I killed the kid, but she's like, oh, are you okay? Don't worry about him. Wow. It was funny. That's good, though. What a little <laughs> woman. It, it was funny. Trust me. Trust me when I say it was funny. I uh, I never hit anyone. Knock on wood. I've never had anyone roll off my windshield before. 
No, it's uh, my, when, when I was 15, my friends Chris and Jason were crossing Route 130 in New Jersey, and Chris saw Jason get hit on by he was killed. He, he was uh, Oof. they were on their bicycles, just, and uh, that was the first friend I had that, that was killed. Happy little story, thanks. But I'm just saying, that, like, <laughs> like they, they, it really messed Chris up bad. Yeah, like he was literally right behind. They're like, you know, following your friend across the highway. Yeah, and he got clipped, or his friend was following him, but he got a good clipping at 60. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that's awful. A little bike went flying. Uh, let's go to Adam in Middletown. Adam. Shoes? Did he come out of his shoes? Hey, guys, what's going I don't know, on? Actually. Yeah, where they just... Everyone comes out of their shoes. The shoes oh, just was... sitting on the side of the highway? Yeah. It's awful. Adam, what's up? Not much. I hit a little... I hit a kid on a bike one time. It scared the shit out of me. Oh, uh, did it. I, had, uh, I just got my driver's license, and uh, I was driving to get my parents some food for dinner, and I pulled out from an intersection. This little black kid on a bike just all of a sudden appeared over the hood of my car. I almost shit my pants. Scary. Uh, to how about Let's, you try to keep it clean for the radio? Does anyone understand? Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I'm listening on XM. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Right, Adam. I'm actually watching, as you're talking, Adam, there's, there's footage on, on Channel 7 of, like, safety mm -hmm. testing. They're showing a guy getting hit. Yeah. Like, it was like a dummy, like a dummy, uh... You know how they have those those dummy simulations, and the car. Well, I thought you meant like a retard. Oh no, <laughs> the car would have been dented. He would still be standing there eating his like multicolored lollipop, and the car would be dented around, around him. As right. if he hit a light pole. Just just big cartoon. <laughs> And he would just be jumping up and down in a circle yeah. with, like, the swirly, multicolored lollipop <laughs> and a hat with a propeller on it. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, listen. Stop with the phone call Thursday so we can get some real phone calls on the show today. We've been doing real well with that. 877-212-O&A. Uh, Jimmy's back. It's Opie and Anthony. Stay there. Opie and Anthony. Bad boy radio host. Opie and Anthony. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show. Phone number 877-212-ONA. Uh, Chris is reminding me that I did hit somebody. I like what Jimmy saw the other day, though. Chris, go ahead. I know what you're uh, going to say, but go ahead. You say it. Hey, uh, a couple of years back, I remember you telling a story about hitting a guy, and he just uh, hauled up and punched your mirror off. Yeah, punch the side of your mirror right off your car. I'm noticing something about the phone calls. I don't know if it's this guy's call, but this is the second call in a row where the the quality has been kind of kind of bad. We'll we'll have to take a uh, a close look at that. Uh, well, yeah, I tapped a guy when I was driving uh, out of the city with Anthony one day back in the day. I tapped him though, tap because the light was green and the guy decided he was going to show me who's boss by just strolling across the uh, intersection. That's what the pedestrians do. If uh, there's too much traffic for you to cross the, uh, the the intersection, even though you have a green light, you do the right thing and you stop because you don't want to be in the middle of the intersection when the light turns red. But then when traffic clears up in front of you and you're able to go because the light's still green, the pedestrians have been crossing in front of you. And they should notice that you now have an opening, the light is green for you, and let you go. I don't care if they're in the crosswalk. They got that big red hand that says, don't walk. And that's when I will just map, map, and go and get them out of the way. And this guy didn't want to move. Uh, so Ope kind of rolled up a little bit and gave him a little hip check with his uh, vehicle. <laughs> and the guy didn't find it amusing, funny, or anything. He walked up to uh, my side. Well, I was a passenger, so I, uh, as the tough guy I was, quickly slammed down the lock on the door. <laughs> mm. And he punched the uh, side view mirror right off the uh, truck. It, but it hung there from the cable that you used to adjust it. Yeah, I tapped uh, a monster, basically. Yeah. This guy was a monster. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, he one swipe took out that uh, side view mirror. And then that thing hung with that, oh. with that wire or that... Thick just wire. scraping the paint off in a perfect circle. For months, it just turned into a, yeah, a perfect circle <laughs> on the side of my car. And the car was nice at the time. It just ruined my car because of my yeah. stupidity of tapping this guy in the intersection. I was driving one time uh, down Route 130 again because I grew up around there. There's a lot of... Oh, my God. We all, I, was, I was almost killed when I was still smoking pot. Me and my friend Steve <laughs> Jackalona. <laughs> Steve was an animal. He used to smoke cigarettes in his car and then just flick the ashes on the rug. He just—he was a, a, a savage. And we, were, we were both high out of our minds one time, and we were crossing Route 1 on Route 130, and we were crossing the light, and, and we heard, Mah! and a gas tanker had run the light. Wow. And you do see your life flash before your Ooh. eyes. I saw it. It was, it was in an instant. I saw everything, 
and Steve jammed on the brakes, and the and the and the rig was he had to be doing seventy miles an hour. His the back two wheels on the AT wheeler yanked our bumper off. <laughs> like, wow, it was that close to being under the under the uh, yeah, and just trail and being completely dead an people. inferno. <laughs> It was the, the the bumper got ripped oh. off, and the guy pulled over, and then Steve actually stopped and pulled over and talked to the guy, and uh, they exchanged insurance, and then we got in the car and drove across the highway, and Steve pulled over and cried. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a delayed reaction that we almost got killed. That, yeah. that was it. Starts sinking in. It, it was like your body. You go into shock. It's almost like when a relative dies, how you prepare for the funeral. It's almost like you you avoid the. The horribleness of it by doing things. Yeah. And that's what this was. The insurance exchange was a thing. It was a, a process. And we crossed the highway and pulled over. And he wept like, I don't know, like some grandmother, to quote Brando in Apocalypse Now. <laughs> but I didn't think anything of it like he was faggy or anything because I was sitting there going like, you know, we're, 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 I mean, when you're uh, high, nothing wrecks your high like an 18-wheeler yeah. ripping your bumper off. It's, <laughs> it's a high ruiner. Yeah, you got to allow him a good cry after that. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what? That's, I, not, that's something you don't make fun of. You're like, oh, my. You should be crying along with him if you had any emotions. Anytime, uh, anytime Jimmy tells a story like that, all I do is picture the animation in my head. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because that is a perfect story to animate. Well, because he uses real names, which I makes know. it really funny for some and, reason. And, and I'm just seeing them smoking pot, yeah. the little high cartoon characters driving in the car, well, the tractor trailer going, nah, yeah. I'll only use real names if it's not a slanderous story. Like, of my course. He no, but care. You I never care. cried. He's going to sue you. I did not cry. I got a picture of me and Steve, because Steve looked like he was 40 back when he was 17. <laughs> he said he was like one of the. He had like Donnie Brasco glasses. I wonder what ever happened to him. He, he had these like they were kind of always tinted. And I got a picture of me and him together. I just found when I was like nineteen and in my like white homeboy phase, <laughs> yeah. my hat tilted to the side. It was just a couple of asses. No, the real you should have been hit by I that was tanker. Awful. The it was real God me. driving, <laughs> <laughs> trying to save me from embarrassing myself. <laughs> You're not black. <laughs> Let's say hi to Dave in Illinois. Dave, what's up? Speaking of uh, trucks, by the way, that's why we go to Dave. Dave, go ahead. Dave, Dave. has a really good story, but I think we might have lost it. Hey, Dave. Ran over a guy with my semi once. Oof. Is that guy still on the phone? Maybe his name's not Dave. I think he's gone. All right. Uh, you know what I hit one time driving, which is very upsetting? I ran over a dead dog. I was I, I was coming home one night. I ran over a dead. It was like a dead German Shepherd, but it was a loud thump, a horrible thump. And I pulled over, of course, and I saw there was a dead dog. And I knew I didn't kill it because as, as, I, as I drove up, I kind of saw yeah. something and hit it. And it was laying in the road. So was, uh, Opie probably killed it. <laughs> yeah. it, had, it had a knife <laughs> sticking out of his liver. Easy, easy. <laughs> Maybe he was just taking a nap and you didn't really kill him. Maybe he was very tired. He Maybe. just made it halfway across the highway. He's like, <laughs> stretch. Uh, I had a big, ugly possum once where, same thing, thud, thud, over both wheels, where the car kind of goes up in the air a little bit. It's, Dude, it's such a creepy uh, feeling. I pulled over and I saw what it was, and I did cry on the way home because I thought it was like somebody's pet, and I felt so sad that I killed somebody's Aww. pet. It was around a holiday. I don't remember what it was many, many years Aww. ago. Dog. Ah. He's not coming home. Yeah, the, no, the parents will just say that the dog ran away. Don't worry about it, Jimmy. So, I, had, I had a. Oh, you, were you done? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a, uh, an old uh, Mustang years ago, and um, it, it, the brakes were bad, so I went to get the brakes fixed. And driving back from the place that fixed the brakes, I'm coming down a hill. I step on the brakes. Nothing. Oops. I mean nothing. They didn't tighten something. And I'm going right into a main road, like a, a, a <laughs> re, yeah, a major just road. There was nothing I could do. I just shot across this road, <laughs> and by the grace of God, God nothing no. was was coming through at that second that I I blasted through. But a tractor trailer passed by right after that and i'm just thinking two seconds yeah. like if i just would have been driving a little slower and and i did pull over and just started shaking like crazy like your body just y y your mind transfers that to your body and your body just loses control that's a nice <laughs> shot of adrenaline that hit oh your oh. adrenaline being and released i had to at the end of the road because it, the 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 i shot out of this road into a main road but it didn't go all the way across. It was just a chain link fence and a sump on the other side. So I also had to like wrench the wheel 
and turn so I wouldn't fly into the sump. It was like a movie scenario. It was horrible. Your sinus is clear. You ever have your sinus is clear? <laughs> when something horrifying like that happens, all of a like I can breathe really well. Yeah. Like when my adrenaline <laughs> for rushes a few like seconds, that. Yeah. That's your body oh, yeah, preparing for horrible things. Yeah, your for body. Death. Your body just sucks the, all the fluids back <laughs> in. Your body. If, like that's how. I, that's why I want to punch myself in the face sometimes because my nose is stuffed. I'm like when I have an adrenaline rush, it clear my head clears. So it's like your body can do it when it wants to. Yeah, then when why can't it just do it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, do it. Let's go to Al in New York. Al, listen on uh, listening on. <laughs> What's up, Al? What do you say, Al? <laughs> Al, who are these? Hold on, who are these uh, naked uh, broads? Zoe Zane. Oh, that's the, the uh, disappear the gone chick. Which one is she? Did you just say Zoe Zane S? No, chick. chick. Oh, chick. Okay, she's this the one on the right. Yeah, with, the, with the, the, the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz. Wait, she's know. dead now? We don't well, know. there was a large quantity of blood That's found in her oh, hotel room. Get that off my screen. You Why? Me? I want to see more it's of her. She's like, Nah, it's kind of hot. Yeah. It's kind of hot knowing she's dead now? No, I don't know. She's dead. She's died. missing, and there was a large quantity of blood. They're saying that she could have killed good. the guy. She could have killed the guy. I can still scrap looking at Jane Mansfield's photos, and we all know how, where her head wound up. <laughs> and, and the bowling, old shoulder. And a bowling bag. <laughs> it certainly did. Boy, she, she, she was with a friend named Steve who didn't hit the brakes in time. <laughs> and, Oops. And that little head came right off. <laughs> oh, God. They smashed that little man. What a lovely head to lop off to. Ah. What's up, Al? Get that home with you. And none of the guys she dated noticed for three weeks. Yeah. Because her cans were so nice. <laughs> it's like, finally, she shut up. That's right, folks. I'm gone gone for a few days, and I'm back with Jane Mansfield jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you missed nothing. Ooh. Hey, Al, what's Ooh. up? Hey. hey. Uh, I just got a story. It's almost in the same area on Route 17, parallel. I uh, First day of daylight savings, coming, uh, going to work. Come around a corner, I see a tractor trailer on the other side of the road, and the next thing I know, the world just blacks out. And the world, everything slows down, and I'm like, why can't I see the sky? And I can't figure it out, and I can see the ground, but no sky. I realize it's a tractor trailer. Swing the car to the left, for whatever reason, go halfway under the tractor trailer, and the back wheel kicks me out. Saves my life. Wow. Total See? car is completely crushed. If I had a passenger, they'd be decapitated from the shoulders down. Wait, I, I, Hold on, I, sir. Even, Did you... Let me discuss his remark about yeah. decapitated from the shoulders, shoulders down. down. That's a little... <laughs> sir, <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of tough shoulders. to pull off there, I sir. Like the, I meant from, like, the stomach up. I mean, it was that low. All right, wait, like but the, did your... Stomach did, up. Did, did your... We all know. Did, did your Honda pass under the tractor trailer? Yeah, it, it went, like, when I went to the left, and it's a two-door Honda Civic, so when I swung the car to the left, I started to spin out. So the entire passenger side went under the under the, uh, under the tractor trail. That's why it was crushed so low. Because your instinct is to turn away from it. Yeah, I, well, I was trying to, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I just <laughs> went to the left for whatever reason. And then uh, the back wheel of the tractor trail, it kicked me out. Hit the front of my car and knocked me out before I spun under too. So another another say half a second and you would have been decapitated from the ankles up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy counts. I had one toe left. <laughs> yeah. What a buffoon. If his toe if his toe got cut off, he would have said I was decapitated from the middle toe up. Yes. It's all decapitation. He decapitates himself when he clips his toenails. Yes. Let me tell you what's weird about it, though. Is uh, Everything goes in slow motion. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually looking at my legs and saying, wow, when are they going to be crushed? I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the... Yeah, it is amazing how quick your your mind can uh, can process what's going on and, and make you think about things. You're like... Oh, I'm in real deep trouble here. I hope it it ends quickly, or I hope like uh, I spin out and 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 end up okay. But it's still going on, and we'll all have to just see how this ends. The, all right, that tire's really big, and it's coming towards me. This like your mind could just kind of. That's the uh, conversation you have in your head, and uh, in real time, that was like a quarter. It's just like this. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what you... I never, I never saw anything. I never saw yeah. anything except the sunlight below. It was the first day of daylight savings time. I know you. We it. know that the right, decapitation Al. from you. the stomach Woody up. Woody Allen had a very funny bit years ago about getting ready to be hung, and he's like, 
He goes, and my life flashed before my eyes, and I'm seeing myself as a kid at the general store buying gingham for Emmy Lou. Oh, <laughs> and then I realized it's not my life. He's like, I'm about to die, and the wrong life is flashing in front of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what a smart guy. He's amazing. Roy, New York, what's up? Uh, Hi. Yeah, okay, actually. Roy. Yo. Here Roy. Go. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on, guys? Hey. Oh, you guys grew. Uh, listen, I used to do uh, auxiliary police, which is volunteer police officer here in New York City. Yeah. I was out in the corner uh, doing patrol. The funniest thing just happened. This guy's on rollerblades going across the street. The guy's making a left turn. Boom! Knocks him out. Guy gets out the car, punches him in the mouth, gets back in the car and drives off. Wait, so the, hmm. the guy that hit the rollerblader jumps out of his right. car, and he's so pissed off he has to punch the rollerblader that he just hit in the face? <laughs> right. So the guy comes off, guys, can you help me? He just punched me in my face, but it was too funny. We couldn't see the plate or the model of the car because the guy just took off. Uh, it did a hell of a job there, funny. sir. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's go to Dave and Philly. what some people find funny. <laughs> Dave and Philly not listening on WISP. Hey, How are you, Dave? All right. How you doing? Good. Hey, I uh, love you. Love the show. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, hey, um, I got hit with about twelve thirteen on my uh, brother's bike. Carried the bike home, bent up in two pieces, basically. And uh, when I got there, he kicked the crap out of me for looking at his bike. I had a broken arm from the accident. Car hit me doing probably about forty. <laughs> I ended up in the hospital with uh, uh, broken teeth and a broken arm. Broken teeth from my brother. I'm nice, huh? So your brother punches you because you wrecked his bike? That's yeah. understandable. <laughs> yeah. I guess when you're 12 or 13, it's yeah. understandable. You don't care. As long as he's walking, you can a... punch him. Yeah, you're like, ah, yeah. you seem okay. You're now, fine. Now i got to hit you for wrecking my bike. Let's go to Danny the trucker. Almost done with this. Danny, what's up? Hey, guys. Good morning. Hey. I was uh, I was in Philly. I un unloaded uh, my first load, and then I was going across town to pick up another load. Luckily, uh, I was only doing about 30 miles an hour. Come across this, uh, I think it was a bowling alley. There's a bunch of kids out in front, and there was a uh, dump truck parked on the side of the street. And I had one guy walk right out in front of me, and I swerved just in time to miss him with the, the cab of the truck. But I think the nose of the trailer hit him. I got the uh, truck stopped just in time and looked in my mirror to see his head move. Uh, lunge forward because it was the trailer tires that moved it. You know, I just about <laughs> ran over his head with the damn trailer tires. Yeah, that could have made a mess. Yeah, and then, you know, he was drunk off his butt, which is actually probably what saved his life. And, uh, you know, he's like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. And, you know, I'm sitting there, what, what do I do? You know, and I figured there was enough people there. They called the cops, and I got kind of pulled off the street, uh, street a little bit. And sure enough, the cop came and Talked to the people up there, and I was waiting for him to come. And then what happened? <laughs> Jesus Christ, all right. You're going to run us through what the story you told when you got home that night? And then my insurance Jesus. rates went up. A few yeah, I got the bill, so I opened the envelope. Right, right. Right. A lot of pedestrians in the city get hit by tractor trailers and buses because they stand in the road uh, waiting across the street. And the tractor trailers, you know, it's pretty tight here in Manhattan. So they got to cut the corners. And the people look and see the front of the tractor trailer is way out in the intersection, not even close to them. Yeah. But by the time the back end of it gets into the intersection, it's pretty much scraping on the curb. So they're standing there not looking, and the rear tires just run them over. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye. A lot of the bike dudes get hit. Can we get a, like, a stat today, Iraq? E How many pedestrians Ooh. get killed in New York City by uh, being run over? Yeah, and I, I, I got, supposedly it's like well over like one a week, I, one, one a week here in Manhattan. And let me let me let me tell you something. I don't know what the deal is, uh, but when you're driving down in Chinatown, why would you be driving down um, in Chinatown? Well, there's there's people that live down there. They got to go see. Yeah, yeah. Big piece of Manhattan. I have friends that live down there and stuff. Sometimes you got to go to Brooklyn. It's the fastest way to cross over. Yeah, you get a Brooklyn Bridge, one police plaza. Mm. It's over there. But, you know, you got to drive through Chinatown. And people will walk right out in front of your car. You, and you're constantly reading about uh, uh, Asian uh, women, older, older Asian women getting hit by cars. Constantly. They just shuffle out in the middle of the street. They do not look. Maybe it's an insurance scam. No, because they're usually dead.
Oh, they just oh. get, I mean, whale. Maybe they're really team players. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll take one for the family. Could be. Oh, wow. It's, uh, this is a hell of a way to start a morning show, by the way, with mm. these horrific stories, but, but very interesting. Let's go to Maine. It's Andrew. What's up, Andrew? Hey, what's up, Owen? Hey. hey. Yeah, uh, no, I, I pulled up the end of my boss's driveway one day and uh, I'm waiting for traffic to clear on a major route. And all of a sudden, screeching tires both ways. I look and I see this tan thing flying through the air. What I thought was a deer. It was a guy wearing a Carhartt suit, so it looked like a deer. And, of course, his, his boots, he came right out of his freaking boots. And so I called up 911 and said, oh, someone hit a deer. And then everyone gets out starts looking, and I go over and look. It's a guy. He jumped right out in front of a truck. To kill himself? Yeah, to kill himself. Oh, the poor, dri the poor driver of that truck, man, he was all messed so up. So what, really, what really. finally tipped you off that it wasn't a deer? Was it the orange hat? <laughs> 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 or was it the note that no, he left I behind? Walked over it. I have Lyme disease. Everyone... I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, you don't want to know what it's like to have your foot crushed. I've lost my toes. <laughs> Were we taking non sequitur? Were we taking toe crushing stories and I didn't know? You're right, sir. He's like, you wouldn't want to know what it's like to have your toes crushed. As if we challenged it to say yeah. it's yeah. fun. Yeah. No, I want to know. How many did you lose? Well, I lost uh, the, all of my big one, uh, half of my second one, and just the top of the third one. What, 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 <laughs> what, what did you do? <laughs> I was happen? wearing steel toed boots and I was on a job site. Someone had disengaged the hydraulics and rigged it up. So when I stepped out of the bobcat, the hydraulics didn't disengage. So when I stepped back in, I got caught, hit a foot pedal, and it brought the bar down over my steel toe boot. Oh, oh, oh. That has got to be painful. Those nerve endings, man. That's a nasty one. At the end of your fingers oh, and your toes. You had two little loose Just toes in your toe. shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Just think of a tube of toothpaste. That's what it did to my big toe. Uh, <laughs> I thought we didn't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Remember you remember a little while ago you said you don't want to know. Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> You're going to save this that horrific uh visual. Bob Missouri, what's up? We're taking a break, but uh what do you got? Yeah, hey man, I used to drive a big truck on the road and I had a guy jump off the overpass in front of hit the windshield and slid under the truck and I ran over him. He committed suicide in front of him. Splattered him all over the highway. They had shovels out there shoveling him up. <clears throat> man, look, man, there's people listening to us right now. There are people listening right now that are mm -hmm. going to kill themselves someday. Yeah. Leave us out of it. Yeah, stop already. Leave us out of it. Yeah, he was nuts. <laughs> Seriously, hey. just I know you're nuts, but please leave us out of it. We oh. don't need that horrific visual in, in our heads for the rest of our lives. Don't jump out a window. Well, don't stand in front of a train. Remember the time we were doing afternoons in uh, here in New York, and we got word that there was a there was a, a guy splattered like pizza on the sidewalk. Yeah, that was in front of the old uh, Harley Davidson. And we got some pictures of it and everything, and we threw it up on a website back in the day. But uh, it was a big story here. The guy decides to kill himself, jumps out a window. I forgot how high up. Fifteen, let's say fifteen, somewhere between fifteen and twenty. Uh, yeah, it was stories. pretty high up. And the guy, as he falls, is this woman just walking. It's lunchtime, and the guy brushed. Just barely brushed her. Barely brushed her as he just before he hit the sidewalk. And that's what she has to remember for the rest of her life, how close Splat. she was to being killed by this ass. I love guys that jump naked so their body splats. <laughs> there are people that jump naked just so their body goes all over the place. Sexy. Yeah. Just a big naked. Because, you know, clothes will kind of hold it in a little. <laughs> yeah, a little naked. bit. Yeah. It's You're little, going all over the place. A little redecorating in the plaza. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was reading an article on uh, like suicide or, or or whatnot, and a lot of these big cities, you know, a lot of these uh, landmarks, you know, the workers at these landmarks have to be fully aware that people will travel to this particular mm -hmm. landmark just to kill themselves. I mean, the most famous one is the Golden Gate Bridge out there in San Francisco. Yeah, people, people will, love that. People will travel from all over the world to kill themselves by jumping off that bridge. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only uh, big landmark or structure that people decide to kill themselves on, you know. Yeah, people want this connection with things, I guess. They do it on, with the bridges here in New York, the Empire State Building. They attempt it every once in a while. But for some reason, it's 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 the thing to do. Kill yourself at a famous uh, famous uh, site or landmark. Did, did you hear uh, a story about um, people dumping uh, remains, like when they cremate somebody in uh, Disney, 
What? Yeah, a woman was caught dumping remains of a loved one in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean in the water. <laughs> Just and and apparently uh, this has been going on for quite some time. People want to be there. Yeah, people like have been dumping remains of loved ones in various attractions uh, at at Disney <laughs> because you know if people really like Disney, they uh, want to kind of. That's uh, kind of sprinkle creepy. their ashes there. What do you got there? Just being on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and getting a big face full of Uncle Ted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, just getting. Now hold on. It's going to be the wildest ride this side of the Pecos. And you might get ashes in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No flash photography. <laughs> <laughs> I just hey. want to be dumped at Disney. Little kids vomiting all the time on you. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Let's, uh, we're going to stop this, but this guy ran over a hooker. I mean, come on. Sean, Jersey, what's up? Is playing GTA? Yeah, how you doing? I'm a police officer, and I was on route control on a police motorcycle, and a uh, hooker ran across the highway going to a truck stop, never even seen her. Hit, the, uh, hit her, broke two femurs, or hit her back. I broke my left arm. Is she okay? I mean, she li lived uh, finally? Yeah, she ended up living, yes, and I still have the uh, rods in my arm. I, I heard the, the hooker. That's where she has them. <laughs> in her face. <laughs> is, is it true she had to spend the next six months on her back? <laughs> in a body cast. Yeah. All right, Sean. Thank you. Uh, Jimmy, anything else happened to you on vacation? Because that killed an hour. Uh, <laughs> killed an hour. Yes. Uh, when we get back, if you, I, I did the Gene Simmons roast, mm -hmm. which was uh, much more fun than I thought it would be. Really? And uh, I booked New Year's Eve in Long Island. Tickets on sale tomorrow at uh, the North Shore Theater. New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve in Long Island. Is it the North Fork Theater? Yes, or the, it's an okay. 8 o'clock show. You so said North can, Shore. Well, whatever, I don't know. Whatever. The old Westbury. Right. The old Westbury yeah. Music Fair. Why do they have to change the name and make it confusing for everybody? I don't know what North Now you drive by is. the place, it looks like it's just like, it's a big bank. Yeah. Where, where's Westbury Music Fair? Oh, it's a bank I, now. I, I gotta see, see a show at a bank. I just see a logo for a bank. I'm confused. Where do the Where do the venue go? But you know what? You eventually do stop saying that because now I I used to call I called Continental Arena the, the Meadowlands for years, and now mm -hmm. I'll go yeah they're over at Continental. It eventually did get to me. Eventually. Like you do start catches on. Yeah. You can't help yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'm be not a, a fan of naming buildings after after you know after corporate like companies. Cause it's just it's just boring, sounding. man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just boring, like you know what I mean. They just yeah. have cool names for arenas and stuff, yeah. and now it's like it's named after a bank or something. It's not the same thing. But if I owned a place, I'd probably do it. Like I, I, I well, I, the I, money I, they get yeah. for doing it, you know, how could they uh, refuse? But maybe they could like maybe they could take the corporate money and then still make a cool name somehow. Yep, that's all I'm getting at. Uh, what? It's the Izod Center. What's it's that? It's not Continental anymore. It's Izod? They just changed it. Yeah. When did they change it? Two weeks ago. Now, Are this, you kidding this me? This is New Jersey. This is not the New Year's Eve show. Yeah. Why would anyone say I'm going to the Izod Center? Are you? That's, they lost a lot of their stuff to the new Prudential building that built in, in Newark. And uh, Continental just didn't want to do the upkeep anymore. So now it's the Izod Center. So so now we won't be able to say Continental. Everyone will still call it Continental. But see, Continental, boring. Prudential Center, boring. Izod Center, boring. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'll tell you what, what is exciting. Uh, no, North Fork Theater. Right. Uh, they, they say at Westbury, just so you kind of know where you are. Yeah. yeah. The North Fork Theater at Westbury, if it's a resort. That's where Jimmy's <laughs> going to be New Year's. we got to take a break. Uh, it's Opie and Anthony. Stay there.